I feel like I'm mowing a lawn of sheep. This is great. Get that What's up everybody, Dragas here giving you another episode of Besiege. Today we are checking out a mod. Yes, there's not much modding for the game so far, so it's kind of nice when a huge mod comes out. And this one is extremely exciting because it's actually in the game already, it's just kind of hidden. A lot like uh, the hidden blocks, which I didn't do much on, but um, basically there is going to be map modding in the game at the, well, full release of the game, but currently it's hidden and you can in fact do it if you mod. The link to the mod will be down below if you do want to do it for yourself as well. So yeah, we're going to get into it and play around with some of the map editing tools in this game. So unfortunately you can't mod everything in the game, like I would have really liked to be able to mod these actual platforms over here that are in the um, sandbox mode of the game, but unfortunately those aren't allowed to be modded. There's a lot of things, if you just click on it though, you'll see if you're able to mod it or not. There's actually a chicken over here we can mod. I wonder if we can just like, oh yeah, we can flip it upside down. Now what happens if we make it live? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I expected a little more, you know, kind of him trying to get up and everything, but no, he just kind of sits there and wobbles. You can also resize. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't even see the damn. What the fu Okay, hold on. Uh, I thought I thought you could like just drag it out and. Oh my god, this is great. This is. Um, I am making a huge. Oh, oh, okay. So the middle one makes it bigger. Great. Now I just have a huge friggin' chicken here. Um. Oh, that is that is quite a big chicken. Okay, I wonder. If I actually gotta pull it out here, and pull it up. And now if we hit play. It dies. Totally expected that one. So we can move anything we want that is, well, obviously allowable to move. I wonder if that bird exploded because of its own weight. I'm curious to see if that is implemented in the game, some sort of weight system. So I'm actually going to resize this here um, to be really friggin' big. And maybe it will explode like that wonderful chicken did. Let's try it out. No! Okay, so I don't know why the big chicken over here is exploding, as you can see. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I just realized I'm gonna essentially ruin my sandbox mode here with freaking resizing a lot of this. I wanna see if the knights can be cheerleaders and make a, a little pyramid. Uh, I doubt it's gonna work, but you know what? I'm just trying certain things out to see what this game is capable of. I'm curious, damn it. Okay, you guys look fantastic. Now, I hope they don't poke each other, but, uh,. It'd be really cool if they just stand on each other, I doubt- oh. Well, that guy got screwed up. <laughs> Alright, let's try- it's, it's time to resize you guys here. Let's see what, what else we can do. I bet you can resize- oh yeah, look at that. Look at that, you do not screw with this knight. I, I wish it would change the stats of it, I'm sure it doesn't. Okay, here we go. Why are they exploding? What's wrong with being big? What what makes them die? Uh, hold on, let's let's resize it a little bit here. Maybe it's just hitting something. I don't know. Um, try that. Maybe. Oh, maybe because it's standing on it. Hold on. Pull it ahead. Drop it down a little. Uh, oh, you can just drop it to the ground. No, that's not to the ground. You're lying to me, game. There we go. Let's. Yeah. For some reason, resizing animals and humans seems to explode them. I wonder if you resize it just a little bit. Uh, let's let, let's do this guy here. We're gonna resize you good, sir, if I can ever click you. Okay. Just a little bit. Just ma make him, you know, kind of a basketball player knight. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Okay. He's, he's okay. The big guy obviously kills himself. This guy, he doesn't seem to do much. I wonder what happens if I drive over to it. Let's find out. Actually, I wonder... Whoa! Whoa, that's trippy. Okay, let's just make him, like... Oh! If he spawns in the ground, he's okay. Interesting. All right, let's let's see what happens when I do bring a vehicle over. If they're still going to be aggressive or not. I have no idea. And unfortunately, I deleted all my machines because I'm an idiot. All right, we're just going to build a vehicle really quickly. Okay, I just made a really ugly car just to see. Oh yeah, they do actually follow you. Now if I just now if I just nudge this guy, do I kill him? No, he doesn't seem to want. Maybe he's stronger now. Until of course I hit him into the friggin' thing and then he f breaks. So it seems like the bigger they are, the stronger they are? I don't- oh, no, maybe not. I just couldn't hit them, that's all. Okay, so they're all the same. Uh, you can still kick their ass with anything as long as you just drive into them. Oh, wow, I, I just noticed something upon editing these wonderful sheep here. Even if you stretch it directly up, it still thinks you're expanding it. So you can see that I just pushed that thing out of the way, 
because I'm expanding and exp oh it actually exploded in the editing screen interesting but yes you can see as I expand it does think that it's just a huge friggin sheep um, this one yeah you can see after a certain amount <laughs> it actually explodes while you're editing the map that's hilarious Okay, it's looking like the sheepyard had a nuclear explosion now. That's exactly what I wanted. Now we have a bunch of mutant sheep. It, well, <laughs> oh god. And most of them exploded. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that face. Oh my god, I, I, you can hardly see it. But those are eyes, I think. I can't even tell what this thing is. It's so cute, though. Hello, my mutant sheep friends. This is great. I, I love map editing, you know? You can make crazy-ass sheeps. Do whatever you want. This game is becoming cooler and cooler as the days go by, even with player-made editing. Wow, look at that blood explosion. I need to kill all the mutant ones just to put put them out of their misery. It seems like the blood splatter has to do with the size of the sheep. So if you stretch it, the blood splatter is going to be stretched as well. If you just enlarge it, the blood splatter is going to be enlarged. That's really kind of interesting to see like if we go well you're not gonna be able to see it on this guy because there's just so much blood around but you can see this little blood splatter here it's like so stretched that's because i stretched that sheep and if we hit this guy over here well you're, again you're not gonna see it because all the blood so yeah not only can you edit things on the map but you can load some stuff in there's not too much yet currently as you can see but you can edit whatever you want load what you want in uh we got some trees here as well i put trees on the little mountains uh this is I mean, it's it's pretty basic right now, as you can clearly see, but when they start adding a lot more options... What is... Oh, that, that's an archer. I thought it was a zombie guy. Okay. Um, when they start adding more options to the game, you're definitely going to be able to see some awesome player-made maps, which is really intriguing to me. Uh, let's see what happens when I just lo load a bunch of these in. That should be fun. Okay, I, th I think that that's a enough archers. Let's just... Oh, yeah, I figured that would happen. Just a total explosion and lag. Great. I really hope this is going to do what I'm hoping it does. If you guys remember the creation of the universe thing, it essentially stacked a bunch of fireballs on top of each other. Well, I'm hoping I have a tree explosion here. Unfortunately, you can't stack it on top of each other. You can kind of stack it though as you can see they're really close together and i think they're going to explode when i do spawn this this is probably about 500 trees so let's let's slow it down a bit it might lag i don't know i, I kind of want to see it in slow motion anyways because uh slow motion is always fun we'll do five percent let's see what happens here yeah i kind of missed that but <laughs> holy shit oh i love modding let's see if we can get the starting ah oh, fuck it legs a bit all right we're gonna drop it down to one percent here and see what happens come on Damn it! Okay, what if we started off at zero, spawn it in, and even then it's... Okay, no. No, it's at zero percent. I'm sorry, but you should not be exploding right now when I spawn it in. You're at zero percent. Stop lying to me, game. Okay, come on, please. Please, for me. Damn it! Alright, it doesn't want to show it, but you still see that we have probably Besiege's world's first tree explosion. That's always fun. And... I feel like I have murdered a forest. Oh yes, you can resize the yaks. This is what I wanted to see. Yaks with freaking oh, um, sorry. Oh god, what 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 am I doing to you? Oh shit. Um, help. Okay, that that's good enough. Uh, this is what I wanted to see. Yaks with huge explosions. I wonder if the explosions are any difference in size. Unfortunately, a lot of this stuff, like you know, you can't change this little bit of rock face here. Uh, but you can change the yaks, which is kind of weird. A lot of the new content you can't change, though. For science, we're going to figure out if a bigger yak with a bigger bomb equals a bigger explosion. I actually don't even know how big these explosions are, but I'm going to assume it's on par with the actual bomb explosion. That did seem a little bigger, but it might just be the actual size and not the explosion. It did annihilate my car, though, as you can see. If you ever wanted to drive through thousands of sheep... Well, I did, and I'm going to kill my hand to do it. <laughs> this is going to be so fun. I don't even know what exploded there, but I am going to be spawning in a lot of sheep. Why are these sheep flying? I don't know. I don't care, though. I, I'm going to spawn in more and more, and I'm just going to drive through them. It's going to be so much fun, I swear. Oh, game's starting to lag a bit, I think. I should probably ma make sure that I... Oh, God. Why are you guys exploding? Oh, my God. Okay. You guys are doing good so far, though. Okay, I think that's enough sheep. There's there's more sheep than there is map now. Now I need to make a sheep killer. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna build something now that kills a lot of sheep. Oh, no, I, I don't want a sheep on my- oh my god. I do not want a sheep on my building, thank you very much. Wait, can I do that? Can I just put it- Oh, no way! You can have a tree car, guys! Oh, it, it, it doesn't really work very well. Alright, let, let me try that again. Actually, on the ground. Oh, oh, it... It kind of, like, doesn't... Okay, it just it just falls over after a while. That That's unfortunate. Oh my god, we're really lagging because of all these damn sheep. Can I have an archer in my car, possibly? I'm going to assume that's a no. God damn it, I wanted to use the archers against them. Okay, well, I think what I'm going to try and make here is a harvester. Um, similar to what you would see something in, like, a cornfield, except it's going to harvest sheep, because we have a lot of them, as you can see. Okay, so here's my basic idea. I am going to put some sort of weaponry on this little spinning block here, and I just got a, a weighted base right now. Actually, it looks like it's still too light. I'm going to have to weight the back, as you can see. I'm doing wheelies, and this is really lagging me, of course, because, well, I have... A slightly complex... well, I wouldn't say this is complex at all, but I got a big structure and a lot of freaking sheep on this map now. So we're gonna have to unfortunately drop the frame rate to about 50%, uh, maybe even a little bit more once this thing's done. Now I just gotta figure out what kind of weapon I want on this thing, and I'm not too sure yet. I might do the swords, but I think they're a little too long, so I might need to change this a bit. Yeah, as you can see, unfortunately, it's slightly too long. Um... <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. I think it's pulling it so hard that when I load it in, it actually warps. It warps like my... I don't... This is so weird. It's like warping my... Hold on. Actually, I think I know what it is. I think one of... Yeah, one of these blocks is turning the wrong way and fighting against it. You gotta really watch for things like that. Um, okay, that's much better. So they were just fighting each other because one was trying to spin one way, one was trying to spin the other way. But it's still bending way too much. I'm gonna have to really reinforce this thing. Oh yes, this is definitely what I want. Okay, so we're gonna put a little hole in between each one, that way they can kind of get sliced in between them. I think if we put too many, first of all, it's gonna lag me even more, and secondly, it's just gonna look a little tacky. So I think this is going to be the best design right here, and this should be a true sheep harvester. Let's see if it can even spin, though. Oh, yes, of course. It's actually kind of bouncing off the ground, though. That's it's a little worrisome. I Maybe I should make it a bit higher. I did already have to, as you can see, Tighten it a little bit here. I don't know. It's actually driving itself because these things are hitting the ground and it's pushing it forward. So I did raise it a little bit, but I think it's going to be too high now. I haven't made the steering yet just because I'm lazy. Oh god, it's really laggy when I move in here. Uh, I think they're going to go like essentially right under this thing. Oh, it is kind of hitting them? But I think some of them are going to miss it. Like, look how balanced this thing is, though. Like, seriously, the back is just kind of just hanging there. I really need to put some weight back there, but I'm actually amazed it's able to just kind of stay there and balance itself. That's kind of cool, actually. Goddamn sheep, come back here. There we go. Let's annihilate them. This actually isn't too bad. I think this will work. Now I just got to add some weight to the back. Okay, just adding some flamethrowers for added measures here in case any sheep somehow survives the Blades of Doom. Uh, they are going to get burned to a crisp, and hopefully it doesn't burn my vehicle. Let's find out now, though. Nope, that's good. That's just gonna burn them. Great. Ah, uh, there we go. That's even better. A, a nice little burn zone. Hopefully I don't burn my car now. Um, I think that should be perfect. Yep, and it's not burning myself. Perfect. That's the best setup ever. Okay, now we just add a bunch of weight to the back so we can stop, you know... Riding on two wheels, and we should be good to go. It's, I mean, it's not pretty, but it's practical. That's generally how my designs work. Look at this beast. This magnificent... Why is... Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> so I used... I powered my wheels with Y, and my flamethrowers are Y as well. Okay, one more edit here, and we should be good to go. Let's go count some sheep, shall we? Oh, this is, this is going to be the most rewarding thing ever, if I don't lag out, of course. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry guys, it's gonna take a minute to load in. There we go, we are good to go for a little bit longer, and then it's gonna take a long time to load again. Again, this game is not meant to be played like this, but, you know, thank god there's modding. <laughs> and we are lagging, but we're killing a lot of them. Let's, let's turn on the flamethrowers as well, burn some of these guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm mowing a lawn of sheep. This is great. This is how this game is meant to be played, and I think I'm on fire. Yep, there goes my wheel. Okay, so flaming sheep do 
kill your vehicle. Confirmed. But we're gonna finish the, most of these guys off before I fall down, damn it. Oh, come on. There we go. Just a few left. And there's a few lucky ones that got away. Oh my god, the leg is real, though. Look at that blood trail. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Besieged. It was just a quick one to showcase the new map modding feature. I think that's a huge deal. The link will be down below if you do want to download it for yourself. Thanks once again for liking and watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.